Hey guys, it's Michelle. I wanted to share with you an album that I created. I know it's been a little while since I have put out any videos, but I have been getting ready for a craft show that I just finished up uh, at the end of October. So I wanted to share with you some albums that I have left. And the first one I'm going to start with is the um, album using the Once Upon a Time. By Graphic 45. I'm sure a lot of you, sorry, I guess that plastic has a glare there, but I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with this paper. Um, I've got the paper and then I also have some of the chipboard pieces that I used. Um, this album is inspired by a video that I watched um, on YouTube. Her, by, her name is Deborah Persing, and I will put the link to her uh, YouTube channel down below. All right, we started off with the cover. I do have the uh, book. I have it kind of folded. And let me see if you could see this, how it's kind of popped up. Uh, there, you can see it a little bit right there. I have the book popped up and then I cut out another one of the fairies and I have that popped up and then some of the flowers at the bottom and then this little fairy over here is also popped up and I used the Wink Estella on the uh, wings there to give it a little shimmer to it. The side is some specialty paper. It's got, oh, doubt it's going to show up. Sorry about there. You can see it a little bit. It's got the, it's um, like peacock. And then the back, I just left fairly plain. This is a large album. The uh, cover is nine and a half by nine and a half with the pages are nine by nine. So we're going to try and get this all into the camera for you. We'll just see how it goes. All right, the first page I started off with, um, it has a little fence that I glued down on the bottom with the, uh, I think those are just some little flowers that I had picked up from Michael's. And then this top has a magnetic and it pulls out. Let me show it there. And it's got a little pocket here with a couple of little tags from the collection and plenty of room for a large photo there and it does have a little magnetic closure and I have a couple of spellbinders die a couple of flowers I think that's a prima rose and then a little chipboard piece right there and then on to the second page it is a pocket page and I added a vine through it. Um, it's just a little ribbon that I found on Amazon. And then I have another little chipboard piece here. And then from the paper, we have a photo mat. Very, very sweet. And then this one opens up for you to put photos inside. And I use the Martha Stewart punch around the page. And then I have another little photo mat here. Those little fairies are so adorable. On this side here, I made a angle pocket. Actually, it's two pockets. And then I added some ribbon and uh, some more of the prima flowers and some little roses that I picked up at, uh, at Michael's. And then we have this photo mat here. And then some more photo mats using the Martha Stewart's punch around the page. And then I also use the Martha Stewart here. I have two separate um, Martha Stewart punches on that angle pocket. On this side here, I use two, um, I think these are heartfelt creation dies. And then this also magnetic and then it pulls out from the top 
and you have plenty of room for photos here and then some more of the spellbinders die another little chipboard piece another photo mat and then another larger photo mat with the uh, punch around the page on this side here I did a uh, belly man and it has the ribbon the leaf uh, yeah well le the leaf ribbon and then a couple of flowers that I picked up from Michaels this one here is a large photo mat when you open it up it's got a little magnetic closure there and it has little pockets to put more photos in and I just made like a little border here using the Martha Stewart punch and then this top this green one is also a Martha Stewart punch and then I have put in there life itself is the most, is the most wonderful fairy tale and then we have a really large photo mat here. Then on this side, it has a magnetic closure. Opens up like that. Some more of that ribbon. And then I have a little pocket here. Also, it's closed with the magnet. I love this one. It's so cute with the little bunny rabbit growing seeds of friendship. And it just tucks right in the pocket there. And then another little bunny. And that also, if I hadn't said it, has my closure. And then on the bottom here, I just ran some ribbon through one of the chipboard pieces. And we have another large photo mat there. And on the second to last page, I have a pocket, and it is just stock full. I have a little envelope that I made with everything all tucked inside. And it has places for some small little wallet size photos there. Then another one here, a little bit larger. And then I have a little card. This one is actually the template to cut out a, fo uh, a photo on that side. And then another little pocket. It's just plain. Add two photos there. And then another photo mat here. And then, as I said, this one is a template to add a photo on this side. And then it has the uh, Spellbinders dies, and I think this one might be Heartfelt Creations with some little roses tucked in. I, get, I, I thought it came out really cute. I love the colors inside of it. So uh, leave me a comment, and uh, if you have any questions, I'd love to hear from you. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.